we are asked to find the product of the three fractions. Let's first determine the sign of the product. We have a negative times a positive times a negative. Working our way from left to right, a negative times a positive is negative, and then we have times a negative. A negative times a negative is a positive, and therefore the final result is going to be a positive fraction. And now from here, to multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators and we multiply the denominators. And therefore, the numerator is going to be five times nine times 10. And the denominator is going to be six times 25 times 11. However, it'll be easier to simplify before determining these products. To simplify means to simplify out all the common factors between the numerator and denominator. Notice five and 25 share a common factor of five. There's one five and five and five fives and 25. We just simplified out one common factor of five between the numerator and denominator. Notice six and nine share a common factor of three. There are two threes and six and three threes and nine. We just simplified out one common factor of three between the numerator and denominator. And notice 10 and five share a common factor of five. There are two fives and 10 and one five and five. And then notice there's also one common factor of two between the numerator and denominator here. There's one, two, and two here, and one, two, and two here. Now that we've simplified out all the common factors other than one between the numerator and denominator, we can now multiply knowing the product will be in simplified form. In the numerator we have one times three times one, which is three. In the denominator, we have one times one times 11, which is 11. The simplified product is positive 3 elevenths. Now I do wanna mention, if this method of simplifying is hard to follow, we can look at the prime factorization of each of these terms, which will allow us to see the common factors between the numerator and denominator. So let's also show that method. Going back to where we had in the numerator five times nine times 10. And in the denominator, we had six times 25 times 11. Let's determine the prime factorization of each of these factors. Five is prime. The prime factorization of nine is three times three. And the prime factorization of 10 is two times five. The prime factorization of six is two times three. The prime factorization of 25 is five times five and 11 is prime. Now that we have the prime factorization, we can actually see the common factors between the numerator and denominator. And since a fraction bar represents division, five divided by five simplifies the one here as well as here. Three divided by three simplifies the one here. And two divided by two simplifies the one here. And now notice when multiplying, we do have three elevenths. So use whatever method of simplifying works best for you. Thank you for watching.